What's happening everybody? It's your boy Mike Rich, man. Today I'm gonna do a couple of own feats for y'all. Hey, first of all, how y'all doing today? It's a beautiful day outside in the city of Atlanta, man. But anyway, um, today I want to catch up on a couple of own, own feats that I didn't do previously because of weather or whatever situation. And I'm going to do two for y'all today. Two of these pickups I got from Walters. And um, like I said, they're not fan favorites. Everybody don't dig these kicks, but these are just personal kicks for your boy Mike Rich that I had been looking for. And I finally found them. Um, if anybody's seen the vlog I did at Walters, you would know one pair is the uh, AirTech Challenge 3 Agassi joints. I'm a big fan of Agassi sneakers. So um, I'm going to do a quick on feed of these because um, I didn't get a chance to the first time. And the other pair is the ASIC Gel Light 3 um, Miami Vice. Um, I had got the black and the white on these, but... Um, I took the white one back and got my white size. She seemed like she liked that shoe, and I didn't have to have it as much, so I went back, uh, switched it out for her size and that sneaker. So without further ado, let me let y'all check both of these out on Feats, man. Do it. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> First up, we got the Air Tech Challenge 3 Agassi joints, man. Um, I'm just, I really love this shoe. Like, this is one of my favorite colorways of a kick. I love the vote against that dark emerald color that's on the toe. That's such a clean look to me, man. Like, I've been wanting this shoe ever since they re ripped retro these again in its original form. They came out a few years back, maybe 2006, but they had some kind of ugly Nike uh, sign on the back instead of um, the flaming tennis ball, which is the OG, is the real OG form. This is one of the, my, the best things I like about this shoe is this, um, the flaming tennis ball, man. It's, it's just a dope feature. It's just so OG, so 1990s, man. I just love that about the shoe. This is one of my passion shoes, I call. Shoe that I'm passionate about. It's not crazy. It's not a big fan favorite. And they actually didn't even release these sneakers in a lot of stores. They were more online than anything else in a couple of sites. But I didn't. these, these didn't go crazy like that. For some reason, they didn't release them in a lot of spots. Not in this colorway. I caught them at Walters downtown Atlanta, man. Um, I got them on sale for like 69 bucks, so you can't, I mean, in my opinion, you can't beat that. Um, I seen them cheaper in a couple of spots, but they sold out of my size. Uh, let's do some walk away. Yeah, man. Slew foot action. Slew foot action. Let's do some walk by. Let's walk away and walk by, yeah, yeah man. Just be y'all uh, a good look at how the shoes will look on feet. You walking by somebody and you see them on feet, this is how they look. But anyway, um, got the Nike tags on them, man. Just so OG. I'm not gonna keep that on there, of course. I don't, I don't like keeping that on there. For, I like the way it look, but uh, I just can't keep it on there for some reason. Something about it. Something that just not, it ain't. I don't know. I just don't like it. But anyway, that's these on feet. Um, I might do them with some. No, I'm just gonna do them with these. I ain't gonna do it with no more pants. I like the way they do. I'm gonna keep these pants on when I do the Asics too. So uh, I just really like these pants. I like the way they fit and I like the color on these. So um, do a round view on these first before I go to the Asics. Let's go around the shoe. The AirTech Challenge 3. Fault. These are the OG OG joints, man. The OG colorway. Very cleansed in my opinion. Very, very cleansed. In my opinion, of course, my humble opinion, my most humble opinion. So let me let y'all go ahead and check these aces out. Do it. Next up, we have the um, AirTech, I mean, not that AirTech, uh, <laughs> the Asics Gel Light 3 Miami Vice joints. Really dig this shoe as well, man. This right here is one that I've been hunting down. I saw it in a few, few boutiques and stuff like that. Uh, Wish Atlanta had them a while back, but they sold out. And um, I caught them on sale at Walters for. And it was $100. Like I said, these right here you probably could have found cheaper, but the size 13 that I wear in these, um, I ain't even want to look no more. I saw them in store, saw them in hand. I ain't want to order them online and nothing like that. So I went ahead and copped. A little quality on them. I love the colors on these things. A little booty action. Ass. You know. <laughs> um, we, me and my family going on a trip sometime soon in the next few months, and I want, I'm going to rock these with some shorts. No sock action, but... um. Just like the colorway on these. Love the Miami, they just, they just that black um, croc skin looking leather against the um, the bright colors on the toe. And on the inside, man, it's just, they dope in my opinion. 
Um, this is like the only like retro runner I kind of been into lately. I'm not big New Balance fan, and I'm not a big. Um, I, I just I can't I don't, for some reason I can't find Adidas that I really like. And trust me, I try. I'm not like so close minded that I just say you know I'm just not gonna look at that brand. And I, I try for, I try Adidas, man. I look at Adidas, but it's it's just like it's, it's my preference. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm trying to dog Adidas out and like that. A lot of people think I am, but I just that's just my preference, man. Let's go walk away. On D. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little sore, man. I'm a little sore. I got back in the gym a couple of days ago and um, had a little arm bicep action going on. And my arm's killing me, man. They feel like they're about to fall off or something. Uh, a <laughs> little walk away. A little walk, walk, walk by. A um, little walk by. But anyway, let's do a quick round view. I know y'all tired of hearing me yap at this point. I'm talking too much. Yeah, but I just got back in the gym. Nice round view. And um, hopefully I can stay in the gym this time. I'll be having back issues and stuff. I know y'all don't want to hear about all that, but, um, you know, it is what it is. So anyway, <laughs> um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I had to knock these two on feet out of the way. Y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think of these sneakers. Like I said, I know they ain't fan favorites, man, but your boy Rich like what he like, man. And I appreciate y'all for watching, man, regardless of whatever, man. Um, I like to tell everybody, Get what you like, man. Cop and rock what you like. I know a lot of people ask questions to me. Yo, Rich, what kind of, which, which, which shoe should I get? Should I get this shoe? Should I get that shoe? Should I get this Jordan that's coming out? Or should I get that shoe that's coming out? Bruh, really look at deep inside yourself, man. And, th and just look at the shoe. Think of how to look on your feet. Think of it fit your swag. Think of it fit the way you carry yourself. And it, it, think of how comfortable it's gonna be. If you're getting it for ball, look look for more of the um, technology side of the sneaker. <clears throat> if you're getting it to rock casually, make sure they're comfortable, but also make sure that the, the shoe is aesthetically pleasing to the eye in your opinion. That's why I always say in my opinion, man, because a lot of people ask me what shoe they should get. You might not want to get the shoe that I want to get. You gotta create your own style, create your own swag. I tell my son that all the time. The only thing I don't like that he does is he rocks Adidas pants with Nike gear. That's not my, I hate that. It's a pet peeve of mine. Every time I see him do that, I just wanna take them Adidas track pants and throw them in the dumpster somewhere. But <laughs> this is my opinion. Anybody who do that, that's not a shot to y'all. This is my opinion. That's how I feel about that situation. I would never do it. But um, it's just, it's just like, get what you like, man. Do what you like. I know I'm talking a little bit too much, man. I'm sorry. I just want to get this point out here because I get a lot of uh, DMs in my Instagram. I get a lot of uh, comments on my videos saying, Rich, what should I get? These few pairs are coming out. Which ones? Get the one that you like the most, the one that you would think will fit you the most, man. And um, that's all I got to say about that. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. As y'all can see, I rock what I like. <laughs> um, hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And please hit that thumbs up. That means a lot to me. That means y'all like my videos and y'all want me to do more of them. So please keep hitting that thumbs up. Um, and keep watching my videos, man. Because that's what I'm here for. Good, 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 go.